Hey guys, what's up? It is me, your mom's Perry here, and welcome guys back to some more Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Hair Grade bonus content. Today, I'm actually going to be showcasing all of the enemies that were shown over the course of the game. Okay, so basically, um, all those, um, oh wait, but first I have a SpongeBob, uh, the, the hearing the tiptoeing sound for whatever the reason. Anyways, the first the three robots, or the first four robots, those were the, the ones that were shown at the near beginning of the game. So, so the father is a nifty electrical t tough a touch attack, not roller coasters, but more vicious than a pack of rabbit clams. Now the G love. Um, has the most vicious smack attack, hands down, expert foot I don't know what that word was, lemon squeezer, and does delightful hand puppet shows. Basically, uh, these, uh, they have some sp very specific, uh, descriptions for what they do. Right, now, Chuck has annoying a missile attack, and likes to throw tantrums and other ver various militaries grade Ordnance, not terribly friendly. Yeah, he's just such a grouch, if you know what I mean. So, yep. These. This here gives out the description of what each of those enemies do. So, the bomb box. It follows you and go boom. This is just the bot to get for the friend you like the least. Um, this one, I think you got introduced that in the Murma layer. So, this here's Barnman packs a .45 caliber cat cruiser, most powerful doghouse made. So yeah, the first five robots you see, those were the, at the very beginning of the game. So now Hammer, I think we got introduced to that in the jellyfish field. So impressive meat by product attack, smarter than it looks. Goes well with broccoli and a nice chianti. Now, now, the monsoon robots, we got introduced to that back in the Agul Lagoon, if, if I recall. So, shocking electrical attack. Rather sensitive, reads poetry, likes plants, and enjoys sapping wondrous denizens. Now, the tablet, we introduced. We got introduced to that, I think it was back in Spongebob's dream a long time ago. Comes in threes, or in six packs with coupon. An explicitable jello attack stays crunchy even in milk. So yeah, if I recall, those are the, that's the one that initiates flamethrower attack. Okay, so bzzzt bot. We got introduced to that robot in the kelp forest. Lemon scented gamma ray attack. Somewhat unpredictable. Borrows money without returning it and blasts things at random. Um, Arf Dog. Arf Dog, we got introduced to that way, way back in rock bottom. Pesky little critter bites the hand that feeds it. Impressive array of tricks, fetches sponges, cases squirrels, spontaneously combusts. Or, I think we got introduced to that, I think, in downtown Bikini Bottom, if I recall, but I'm not sure. On the Tartar, we got introduced to that back in Jellyfish Fields. So, Uncanny Flying Tar, Tar Sauce Attack, Smells Somewhat Better Than Stale Fish. Now, the Sleepy Time Robot, we got introduced to that in the uh, Rock Bottom, so... Most har mostly harmless, unless woken. Somewhat moody, likes to express himself by blasting everything in sight or finger painting. Like I said to you before, um, to eliminate those guys, you have to do a sleepy sneak. And if you charge in on them, they will attack you no matter what. Now the slick robot, that's the robot that, that uses a shield. And how many 
kills it takes to kill him. Yes, we got introduced to that back in SpongeBob's dream, if you recall. So, disgusting oil blob attack. Doesn't wear underwear or bath very regularly. Just the kind of robot your mother warned your you about. Kids. Yeah, we got two more, and then we're done. The Chomp Box introduced in Mermelair. Somewhat unstable critter. Beware his. Stinky doggy breath. Likes to chew toys, random citizens, and mines. And last but not least, Plankton. What is he doing here? Yes, we got introduced to him once we had defeated the, uh, the uh, Sandy robot. It, it, like, way, way, way back at the beginning of the game. Or, actually, uh, we also got introduced to Plankton in the very first episode of the uh, this walkthrough, hey? So, Plankton is the finest model citizen I know. He likes helping people, singing, hacking computers... Uh, never mind. That last bit, Plankton's the best. Well, if Plankton's the best, then how come we dethroned him a couple of episodes ago? And that's something I'm not lying about too, yep. Plankton is the guy that we dethroned. I think he was way back at the chum bucket. So yep, those are all the other uh, robots to a display. So yep, next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrate, I'm actually gonna uh, showcase some of the uh, main menu features. And plus, I'm actually also gonna show you guys the credits. Because... I know some of you guys want to see the uh, the end credits, and because they add me as part of the options, I guess I can show you the end credits like in the next episode. So, yeah. So, yep, this is Ross Perth here. here. This has been Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, and I will see you guys all in the last episode of this walkthrough. Good bye.